learning the satisfaction of um, having success and completing the the goals or achieving the goals you you have set for yourself, even if it's just like getting your first Mm pull-up, then set a new goal, getting your first five pull-ups, getting your first muscle-up, all those small steps uh, on on the way of maybe a bigger goal of gaining 15 kilograms of muscle, maybe over two years or Mm -hmm. something like that. All those small, like, sub-goals, you know, the satisfaction you get from them, they can just teach you a lot because you can apply that to other aspects of your life. Absolutely. And learning to enjoy the journey. As you said, you know, the smaller goals instead of having, I mean, for me, at least in the beginning, I think that's a mistake that I made in the beginning. I was too focused on on the end goal. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's a mistake. Yeah. yeah. And when I wouldn't progress, I would get frustrated. And sometimes I just want to give up because I was so focused on the end goal instead of enjoying the process. It's so much healthier to just live in the moment. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah, that's a great piece of advice you gave there. Yeah. Care more about the the process than the end goal, for sure. Have the end goal in mind, of course. Focus more on the sub goals and the things you have to do to get there and then enjoy what you do Mm. to get there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.